got an email um yesterday from um youtube that our that our channel has been affected into the youtube how are you all doing um today is saturday we are getting ready right now for a party in um raleigh our second home <laughs> in north carolina we are going for a 50th birthday party and i'm putting on this beautiful outfit from a uh, store so um i'm just getting dressed right now i'm about to do my makeup hi hi Did you forget to introduce yourself? Like my name is Ma. My name is Taya, and and uh, they and, already know my and, name. And unless to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Unless um you're a new subscriber, you already know my name on this channel. Yeah, it's so, Taya. If, okay, then. if you're a new subscriber, kindly subscribe. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up, uh -huh. turn the notification uh -huh. bell. Yeah. That way you can get to um, see more videos on our channel. Okay, so I've done the introduction. What else should I do? Um, Come on, teach mm -mm. me now. You, you, you should introduce your family. Introduce my family. Okay, this is my daughter, uh -huh. Idaya Idowu. The second my child. My second child. The first child is being, um, is taking his shower right now. And this is the third child. child. Samuel, <laughs> and what is Tobu? Is Tobu turn enough for the family? Is Tobu, is Tobu turn enough? Come and see your friends. Come and see. Be careful, are you? You live there. Oh yeah, come and see. Come and see. Tobu is all, Tobu is all dressed, <laughs> and she's rocking this cute outfit from our store as well. So if you guys like it, I will put the link. I'll put the link. I'll start putting the link to and our I website. And I like your hairstyle when it goes like right there. You like our website? No, she didn't let me finish style. her hairstyle. Her hairstyle when she when she like. So I only did the front. I packed the rest because I have to, we have to get ready for the party. We the party is about over an hour drive away. It's in another city, as you guys know. It's in Raleigh, North Carolina. So guys, uh, let me start my makeup okay. before before the time is gone and your daddy will say I make you, you guys. You can, just do your makeup in the car. No, it's not. It's not usually smooth. You know, it's small. Eh? The car is small. It will not be smooth with the bumping, bumping, bumping. I don't like make. I don't like doing my makeup in the car. Uh. It will be all over the place. It's it's very stressful. I think that's the right word. It's very stressful to do makeup in the car. So guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. A lot has been um going on i wanted to talk to you guys about this guy's um case. hey be quiet what's his name this celebrity that died in in nigeria mobad mobad i made a video um when he died it's, it's still on my channel um talking about his death and all that and uh yesterday the cops came out um, yesterday to give reports and updates us on the case because it's like everyone, like the whole of Nigeria is interested and even other countries too. Eyes. So, um, here are you. don't worry, I will do everything. Uh -huh. So guys, like I was saying, so they get the reports on, on his death and all that. They said, um, what i knew about what led to his death and the people that, that have been a lot and a lot of people has been arrested i mean people that they accused of um bullying and people that relate um that has something to do with his death and all that especially the nurse that gave him um injection so according to the police they said he went to a show on september 10th which was on on a sunday which was last month so from the show on his way home he they said he had a fight with his best friend he went to the show with his best friend and from the show his hand from the fights 
his hand he got injured on his um i think is, is this called fist so um he started bleeding and he has he i think i don't know what happened but what i heard was that he got in a fight with his friend and he was trying to punch the friend so the friend um dodged the the punch and he ended up eating the car and then the glass of the car i mean got spoils got destroyed and some of the glasses got into his fist into his hands and all that and he got injured from that and he was bleeding but instead of them to go to the hospital after the fight and all that he went home on that sunday night so the next day he woke up and um, he was still bleeding and he was he started swelling up and then um they called his nurse and then they said his nurse was not available and then the after the next thing i heard was that that really pissed me off in this whole invest in the whole investigation and all that was that when the when his nurse they couldn't his nurse is not available his friend said um to call um his own nurse an auxiliary nurse an auxiliary nurse is not a sat certified nurse she's uh, she's just a nurse in nigeria i know that that does not happen here but in nigeria some nurses can just go to the hospital and then get trained personally by doctors i don't know and i don't think things like that happen here i mean without going to school because i'm a nurse and i know i went to school uh for that yeah you didn't know i was a nurse you didn't know you Wait, don't know you're, i used, you're, you're, you know I used to work in the hospital what then why did you quit your job why did i quit up here because i love doing hair oh i work in the hospital for years now so now you quit your job yeah i quit my job because i love doing hair and because i want to spend more time with my children i don't want to have my children i used to take um was it who do i you and david used to go to the daycare and it was i don't i don't like taking you guys to the daycare you know daycare yeah what are you yeah yeah you used to go like, to the daycare a, when you like were a lot of time mm -hmm. you guys used to go to the daycare so that's 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 a story for another day so um like i was saying guys so i'm like why wasn't he taken to the hospital i'm sure he's he's a celebrity so i'm sure he's rich according to what we heard of and like i said he's a celebrity so i'm not saying all celebrities are rich but i've seen a lot of videos of him in the hospital so i'm guessing he has a primary doctor and um i was like why would he why would he not go to the hospital to get treated and have a common auxiliary i don't want to use the word quack nurse what's quack nurse like like a fake nurse quack mm. like fake to come treat him and then according to the report they said the nurse gave him three injections uh, which is for a more um, tetanus injection and then clo i forgot the um, third name of the injection and then immediately after he, he got the injection he started having um goosebumps he started vomiting throwing up a lot and they said according to the report they said within 45 minutes of him getting the injection he he was gone he was he, he was dead unfortunately and then after he was dead they tried to rush him to one hospital the hospital did not um take him did not admit, admit him they took him to another hospital and he was declared dead on arrival at the hospital and uh, what like i said what got me angry because i usually don't i'm not someone who goes on social media i mean on blogs to comment and all that but since this case started i've been so like i don't want to, i don't know the words to use i've been so cons like so devastated like i said and it took me weeks it took me days to actually get like get back to my whole set like to like kind of get it off my mind and all that i was so affected by the whole event I, like it's crazy like someone i don't even know like i've never seen his picture until after his his death unfortunately but i've heard his song but i didn't know he was even the one that sang those song so um like i was saying i'm like how can a whole star why didn't he go to the hospital and then that was and i i left a comment on one of the blogs that i followed on instagram i was like why would 
why wasn't he taken to the hospital and why would um why would the his wife allow his best friend to call an auxiliary nurse to treat him and people started commenting replying in my comments attacking me that what if that what if he doesn't want to go to his, he doesn't want to go to the hospital and all that that what if uh, he refused to go to the hospital and all that and then i'm like if you refuse if i'm the wife if you refuse to go to the hospital the best thing for you to do i'm sure he has a doctor he has a primary doctor the best thing for you to do is to call his doctor on the phone sometimes i'm sick even the last time I, i'm sick i didn't go to the hospital i didn't go to the to the doctor's office i called my doctor and told my daughter this is she at least they, they will ask you what what is the symptoms you will tell them the symptoms even if he doesn't want to go so even if he want, doesn't want to go see the, uh, the doctor they will tell you you will tell the doctor his symptoms and the doctor will tell you what to do and if it's something serious that the doctor feel you can't handle by yourself the, what's come they will tell you to go to an emergency emergency room i know people will say oh eh, but it's because you are in america and that's not but what I, like to me it makes no sense and that is what is killing us in nigeria like any little thing you people as people get sick they are they, they won't go to the hospital to get so guys um like i was trying to say is that like how can you allow so i was like so the wife agreed she was there and she allowed the um the friend to call his auxiliary nurse and the wife could not say okay let's say he refused to go to the hospital and you allowed your husband's friend to call a strange nurse like a nurse you guys don't even know you don't you've never seen her before to come to your house to treat your husband and people were like oh you're why are you trying to blame the wife why are you trying to judge the wife what if he, he doesn't listen to the wife i'm like if he doesn't listen if i if, if he doesn't listen if i'm the wife i will leave him alone of course you can't force a grown man to on on what he should do but i believe if he's truly in pain i will leave him i'll let him be if he's truly in pain, nobody will tell him before he goes to the hospital himself. And then I feel like people are so sentimental with this, with the whole um, issue and the whole case. I was actually supporting the the wife before, but um, recently I'm not blaming her or anything. Only God knows what happened and all that, but seeing um this um his best friend that his wife claim um eats her husband with a ring and then he's all of a sudden after he, he, the guy hits a husband with the ring his hand started swelling up and that was what led to them calling the nurse and that was what led to the death and then um the the claimed um best friend was interrogated and he was interviewed by one of the tv stations in nigeria and listening to that guy listen to what the guy said and remove emotions and sentiments like it's it doesn't make sense to me like it doesn't what the guy said doesn't corre correlate with what his wife said at all because you said someone eats your husband with a ring and his hands started swelling up but when the police report came up they said your husband was the one trying to it's correct me if i'm wrong though, but that's what i heard though. correct and um, punch was trying to punch him and he was the one that got injured his hand they i think they even showed the picture that his hand was like that seriously damaged and he has glasses and all that with him and you you as a wife you are, and you are trying to turn it like like voodoo like the guy the his friend used voodoo on him with the ring i'm, I'm not saying there's no voodoo there's no whatever but it, it doesn't correspond it doesn't make sense at this point to me because the whole the whole thing and according to the report they said even when they called the, the nurse that actually came to give him injection the nurse was not that nurse too was not even available the nurse did not come that day too that they called her it was the next day which was the third day after the incident so apparently the hand is already infected and then it started having more getting more and getting serious so you you waited you were in the house he was in the house for 40 48 hours for 48 hours for two days he was in pain he was in serious pain he was bleeding and he didn't go to the hospital 
and you guys did not force him to go to the hospital and then i don't know if it's a conspiracy uh, conspiracy theory or whatever they call it that according to they say i'm not sure if it's true they said the toxicology results um is out and then it's this is allegedly i'm not saying it's true they said he probably has some substance in his in his um body that he was probably high and i remember his best friend that he said got in a fight with him said the same thing that he was that he was high that he was very high that night and that he noticed he was very high that night and that was why he got uh really angry and was trying to fight him and the friend said it was him and the wife and the wife that was arguing they were fighting and he was trying to tell him not to embarrass his wife outside in the, in the public and he and the guy the mobile the guy that passed away got hungry and then told his friend to get out of the car and that was what that was what they said led to the fight or whatever but I'm, i just feel like at this point everyone is a sus everyone is a suspect because to me i don't even want to go to the substance it has substance in his system or whatever i know they have arrested um what is it called this guy is it naira mali and the samnari the guy that bullied him fine and then i feel like after i heard the police reports and all that yesterday about the nurse and all that i feel like it's carelessness on the on Mubad, the guy that died and his family parts i feel like it's carelessness on their part if your life is really worth something to you you will go to the hospital to get treated you will not just allow one nurse that you don't even know doesn't know your medical history doesn't know anything about you to, i forgot to put this on first <laughs> To come to your house, I'm not I'm not used to talking and doing makeup, so my makeup is all over the place. So <laughs> hopefully I don't look like Ojuju. <laughs> so you will not what I was trying to say is that you will not just allow someone, a strange nurse, to come to your house and treat you. So I feel like the whole issue thing, I know the I know Sam Larry and Naira Mali. Um, we saw videos, evidence of him, of them bullying him and all that. And the police said they they will be charged um, for that, which is fine. But if he's, if we are to really talk about um, the whole issue, like the real issue that led to his death, I don't think those guys have anything to do with his death. Because they said he was his best friend. I mean, another one of his friends that they will live, they were in the same house that called the nurse so sam larry and myra mali that they claim um killed him has nothing to do with the nurse that gave him injection and he refused to go to the hospital to get treated that's why i said it's his carelessness on his part and his family's part so there is a lot to the to this to the to the whole issue to the whole case and all that so but they said they are still waiting for the autopsy and i cannot wait to hear the result as well and i feel like on this case i know people say oh nigerian police i feel like the, they they are doing the, the so far so good nigerian police are doing a great job like i'm really impressed in fact seeing the hearing the report yesterday i was like wow this is this is very impressive and i pray we'll get to the root to the bottom they will get to the root to the bottom of the of the whole issue of the whole case in jesus name so it is well but for me, as for me, I'm not going to join anyone to say, oh, this is, oh, this is probably who killed him. This is probably who, because it, a lot of things doesn't make, make sense to me anymore at this point. Like the whole case, the whole issue doesn't make any, no more sense to me anymore. So, but only God knows, like they said, only God knows what happened. And then um, the autopsy would be able to show what exactly killed him too and i just hope the allegation that because he has um substance like drugs in his system 
that maybe that's probably the reason why he does not want to go to the hospital because he knows they will take his urine and they will know and they will put it in the record in his record that he has um that he has uh what is it called substance in his in his system i hope it's not true because if it's true then they have no case against anyone because according to him he said he stopped doing um drugs so i seriously hope it's true and i hope it's not true that he has something in his system if he does like i said they have no case fine they will charge um the nayamali and samlari for bullying and nothing else and not for murder maybe they hold the nurse responsible sha i don't know because maybe that's probably why he had a reaction to the injection that the nurse gave him who knows? Mommy, yes, baby. Hello. No what? Hello. So it is well. So guys, oh, um, yeah. what's the time? Darling, what's the time? It was good. Ten to six. Oh, okay. Daddy, what's this I still need to tie, tie my gilly. Mm. It's, so it's al already almost six. Oh my god. So it's only Raya that is left. Have you? No. David, uh, is David dressed? And yeah. everybody is dressed. Oh, okay. What's That's good. So we're almost, call? we're almost done. Hopefully we will not be too late and hopefully we will not get there and they haven't started because we Africans, eh? God we have God have mercy on us. <laughs> because you go to party and you just sit down there for three hours, they are still trying to set up everything. I'm like and in my own party, because my husband is is Oimbo, <laughs> we will be the one waiting for guests. <laughs> Like we will we'll be the one waiting for guests to come. It's not guests that we'll be waiting for because if we say two or three, my by before that, my husband will make sure that everything he will be he will be hurrying you up to hurry up. He will, he will make sure that everything is set by that two. Because I know some people they will still be at work. And they are probably not gonna get done until nine, ten, and all that. Maybe that's when some people will start coming, especially night parties like this. Hmm? Can, can I put on the shoe that has the, the, the black shoe that has the heels on? The black shoe? Yeah, that, that has the heels on. Yeah, you can put it on. The one you wear. So this is like a get ready video. I think I'm gonna put the party video in another video, and I have a I have another good I have a good news um, for you guys. Um, so I got an email um yesterday from um YouTube that our that our channel has been accepted into the YouTube um what is it called partnership program that our account our account can now be monetized and then we'll get paid yep 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 <laughs> even though most of our videos are already <laughs> most of our videos are already striked they are already being striked because of uh copyright music <laughs> Mom. Hmm? yep i opened them up i put it on put it on i don't know oh still put it on oh, just oh, put it on oh. i'm coming i'll help you with the hook just put it on most of our videos are already striked <laughs> because of a uh, copyrighted um, song. Especially when we go to parties like this and all the songs and all the music. All the money goes to the owner of the, of the songs. I guess, unfortunately. But people were saying, uh, but you can mute it and change the song. But I feel like if I change the song, like it doesn't make sense like we are dancing in the video and the beats i change it to does not even match the 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 vlog i don't know it doesn't i know people do it but it doesn't make sense and i feel like anyway whatever i only made this channel 
I didn't really make it to for money purposes because uh -huh. I have another channel um that I make I do hair on my other channel and I make money on that one. My one that one has been monetized. I get paid every month on that one, even though um but the reason why I created this channel was to document my family um memories, my family adventures and all that. Um, and then um I'm done. I feel like I put in so much work in order to grow it at least to this level. It's not easy, especially vlog um, channel. If you are not a celebrity or popular, it's not easy to grow a vlog, to grow a vlog channel. And I actually put my hair channel on hold because I kept posting here, trying to create content for this channel. I didn't have time to create for my hair channel and my hair channel suffered um what is it called visibility because of that my hair channel is currently shadow banned right now like let's say i post a video right now my videos don't even get up to 2000 videos and i have 91000 subscribers and that's one thing about youtube you stop outside that's one thing about youtube if they see you are not consistent anymore um to your subscriber you are not uploading as much as you can they will just shadow ban your youtube and then they won't really show your page to people like before but i didn't really care because like i said i really wanted to grow this um channel because i wanted it to it's it's for my family uh, i mean i wanted it i wanted to document um, my family memories because nobody knows tomorrow i'm not saying none of us will die in jesus name well Mommy, um, in the future i feel like my kids can just go they can just go on youtube to watch um uh, memories to watch them growing up and everything Mommy. we did as a, as a family and Mommy. all that and that's really what <laughs> motivated me yeah. into opening this opening this channel yeah i'm coming so i honestly don't really care if i get paid on the video if i don't <laughs> it's it's fine so but um i will trust it has not been easy like i said creating contents here and then creating content for my hair page for my hair channel but um uh, very soon i will i have a lot i'm doing at the moment and that's why i'm no longer consistent like before here too i mean on this channel i have a lot of social media um pages i'm trying to create um content for my instagram my hair instagram page my facebook instagram page and my facebook i've been more consistent with my facebook right now and it's crazy how i went from 500 followers three months ago to to about forty-two thousand followers right now on facebook so within three months i grew from 500 to 40, 42 thousand on facebook that's why i've not been consistent um here like before but we'll definitely um i just need to balance a lot of things and reschedule my schedule reschedule my schedule <laughs> in order to see what we work and all that yeah. but my goal is to at least upload on here um twice a week and maybe short videos here and there and then upload on my hair channel too maybe twice a week so i can at least get it back to um what it was where it was um before because there was a time on the hair channel like i didn't even when i mean while i was consistent here i didn't even upload for like three months on my hair channel it was crazy i was just fo focusing on building this um this channel but i really enjoyed it um even though like i said my income my money suffered like the amount of money i used to make every month on that other channel really went down like really down but i really don't mind it's part of the sacrifice um that we do sometimes uh, for family and then you all some too you also motivate me not just for my family too you also motivate me to keep creating content i remember when we took the three three weeks off i people yeah i was so um i was so surprised when i started seeing messages from people in my dm on facebook on instagram saying oh we, well, we miss you on youtube and all that that really um motivated me um to create to come back and create more uh, content for you guys so thank you so much for sticking um, with us 
this is where i will hand the vlog and then i will the party vlog and all that will be in the next video i don't want to make this video too long so you you get the next video will be the party video i just want this video to be like a gr grow, get ready with me um kind of video so i'm gonna go put on um my what is it called my wig my wig right now oh damn and we'll be on our way so i need to put on my gilly my gilly too this is the gilly this is the gilly that we bought for the party that the celebrant sold for us obi has his um cap as well but this is my own gilly so i'm just gonna um tie it um right now and we'll be on our way gilly can be very very stressful ready to go and this is my finished look yep 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 <laughs> So we are ready for the old one bit. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys will get to see the party in the next um, video. And then have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button on this video. Subscribe Hi. if this is your first time. Hi. Turn on your notification bell.